<laughs> hey, people, how you doing? My name is Tim Black. Welcome to Coffee with Tim Black. Today's episode is brought to you by my friends at Black Mamba Coffee, Tim Black's special blend. Go get some. And this shirt. Don't blame me. I voted for a revolution on sale. You can find it on TimBlackTV.com. <laughs> Walmart is known for a lot of things. Low prices, low wages, no bennies, and crime. That's right, a lot of crime goes on at Walmart. It's crazy. It's like walking into uh, Southeast D.C. before gentrification, of course. Um, This is just out. Labor activists who push Walmart stores, Inc., to raise minimum wage have a new target. Their new target in their sites is this. Stopping crime in Walmarts, in Walmart parking lots. Do you realize how many crimes occur there? Check this out. Making Change at Walmart, a labor group hacked, backed by the United Fund and Commercial Workers International Union, will start running television ads this week in four media markets that has been handing out flyers to customers in 20 cities. Why are they handing out flyers? Well, The demands follow an investigation by Bloomberg Businessweek that found widespread crime at Bentonville, Arkansas's retail giant, Walmart. That's right. Lots of crime in Walmart. And they believe that that Walmart's not doing enough about it. People are getting jacked in the the, uh, parking lot. A lady got shot by her own daughter in the parking lot. A child was abducted in the parking lot. Not to mention what goes on inside the store. Oh, my God. So, the push comes after a Bloomberg analysis of police reports from dozens of stores around the country that found a number of petty crimes committed on Walmart properties. This year was probably, they say it was probably in the hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of petty crimes. So, what is Walmart doing to combat crime? One thing they're doing is they're not calling the cops so much. They're down 35%. And the reason why they're doing it is they're saying, okay, if you get caught doing a petty crime, they won't arrest you. No, they won't, they won't call the cops. If it's a low-wage crime, like say you stole a Snickers, because you know it really satisfies. Well, they're not going to prosecute you. If you attend a theft prevention course, you know, watch one of those films and, you know, realize how wrong you are for one in that candy bar. And, and, and still, it's not enough, according to many people. They feel that Walmart, uh, they, they gouge customers, they shut out competition, and then they, they won't employ security and off-duty police officers or what have you to make sure that you're safe while you are selling your soul and destroying local businesses by shopping at Walmart. That's really what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Walmart believe they have been damaging to our economy and damaging to all the businesses that could exist because they buy a lot of their stuff from China. Oh, we got to do something about China. And, you know, besides the point of there being crime for customers, we got to also think about the employees. As the biggest retailer probably on the planet, they have to do a much better job of protecting those who work there. So let me get this right. You know, so you're not only not going to pay me a decent wage, I got to risk my life to earn this little bit of money? That's the deal. So, yes, I agree that something should be done about security in Walmarts, not only for customers, but also for the people who are forced to work there due to Walmart destroying other businesses. Did I get my point across about them destroying other businesses? Yeah, because they destroy other businesses. All right. Thank you guys for tuning into this segment of Coffee with Tim Black. See me tonight where my guest will be David Cobb. He is the campaign manager for the Jill Stein Baraka campaign of 2016. He will be answering questions about the recount. So he could be the official spokesperson where you can voice your concerns. Comment in the comment section. Maybe I'll use your question on the air. And don't forget, go to TimBlackTV.com, pick yourself up some coffee so you can pick yourself up out of this... I don't know, lack of energy thing you got going on. You're really low energy, just like Ben Carson. I'll see you later, guys. Peace. Coffee. Coffee. 
Capitan Black.